hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Stella I am an education and lifestyle youtuber I make videos from Nigeria and um, if you've been a member of this channel you're very much welcome and we should have a naming ceremony soon we have to give a name to this family <laughs> so guys if you have any name suggestions you can always drop it in the comment section so we should have a naming ceremony really so yeah in today's video like i told you guys in my last video i said i will be talking about how i received the news for my convocation ceremony and um yeah basically and what happened in the convocation ceremony <laughs> so for the for those of you who have been on my channel or who may have gone through previous videos even though you are new I did my master's degree in India so I graduated last year my convocation ceremony was just held last month that is in March so yeah what exactly happened <laughs> um, of course after my graduation or after my exams last year I knew very well that I was going to I knew I was the what they call topper over there or first rank I made a distinction and I knew my distinction was not just a distinction that I was the first rank in my department and what that meant is that I was the best graduate student in the department but what I didn't know was about was how it has been celebrated like how academic excellence has been celebrated in India I didn't see it as so much of a big deal I only thank God that I got to that um, I was able to achieve that milestone of going through all the troubles of um, studying in India and coming out with such um, beautiful results. I wasn't, the convocation ceremony was not much of a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know if I was going to attend or not. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I, I wasn't sure I was going to be at my convocation ceremony. So, usually when you're leaving as a foreigner, you have to have someone who stands in your place to get your documents put together. Shout out to Perry from Ghana. <laughs> so Perry was always there to like put my documents together, get any document that I need, any of my results that were ready and all that um, blah blah. So when it was time for convocation, I got um, a notification that the convocation ceremony will be sometime February or March 2019. And I, all I was working towards was making sure that my um, certificate was going to be ready during the convocation ceremony so that Perry would get my certificate for me. In the course of this whole thing, I sent Perry to tell the school, okay, I got um, a PDF of something that had a list of all the gold medalists for the convocation ceremony. I think a friend sent it to me it was abdi abdi sent it to me abdi from ethiopia yeah no abdi from ghana from kenya please <laughs> i'm sorry abdi i'm giving you different countries abdi is from kenya shout out to you so abdi sent me that pdf which i went through and then i discovered my name was almost everywhere like emily festa kept on repeating itself repeating itself i'm like what the heck <laughs> So more like I was receiving all the gold medals, I couldn't even count the number of gold medals I was receiving and other awards that I was receiving. I was so overwhelmed, I didn't just know what to do. But even then, I wasn't too sure that I wanted to attend the convocation ceremony. I love academic um, ceremonies, especially convocations. But because I wasn't just emotionally ready for traveling all the way to India from Nigeria so I felt no I can't deal with this please I'm not going so I sent Perry to go to the administrative um, arm of the university and when he got there he told them that this person said she won't make it to the convocation ceremony all I'm here for is to just put things together and make sure that her certificate is ready and I'll send it down to her in Nigeria and they were like please no go and tell her that her, her coming for the convocation ceremony is no longer uh, at her own uh, by, based on her own decision it is compulsory for her to be present at the convocation ceremony because she is the topper of the university what that means is like in college in colleges you have a valedictorian of your convocation ceremony or your your graduation or so so i'm like the number one person 
in the university among the graduates for postgraduate school it was surreal i was like what is going on here it flashed it took me back to my days in sokoto when i was the best graduate student from my university and how this is happening in a foreign land like how is how is it even going to be like i was just so so excited my husband was super excited for me my family everyone was so excited about the news and we all did our best to be sure that Chinilu got stella got to india and yes that's how i received the news after a while i got invitation special invitation to me my parents my husband inviting everyone for the convocation ceremony and of course i found myself in india i was in india a day before the convocation as soon as i arrived i went to the admin section of the university and all eyes were just on me like everyone was just whispering stella 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 and it was i was so confused i'm like okay okay how do celebrities do this <laughs> I became a celebrity in India overnight and it was it was fun it was very very interesting and yeah the next day was going to be the convocation ceremony I was so scared I didn't know how to go because then my name had already been published in the newspapers that I will be receiving the highest number of gold medals and that this has never happened in the university 100 plus years of the university it has never happened so I was so nervous like can I actually do this and I'm alone my husband couldn't make it for some reasons his passport wasn't ready and it was just a matter of urgency I had to just leave so he couldn't just get his documents travel documents together my parents couldn't make it either I was just there I'm like oh my god how am I going to do this like how am I going to cope am I going to cry how do I even <laughs> I cannot even explain exactly how I felt on that day to the point that after dressing up I, I almost decided not to go my mind was like no you can't even do this just stay back at home don't go and then I got into the convocation hall when it was now time for my name to be announced my name was announced and everybody was like whoa here comes a girl <laughs> Here comes a foreign girl. Then I approached the stage. It was such a beautiful experience. It was so beautiful. I was so, so emotional, but I was able to control my emotions. Like for the first time I was in 100% control. <laughs> you know, I was there. The, my my accolades were being we were being talked about like they were just calling saying calling different awards and I was just standing in awe. I was like okay and I kept on smiling I was just giving the photographers that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was beautiful and I thank God for giving me that privilege to be in that shoes like anybody could have been in that shoe I wasn't I can't say that I had very amazing classmates very very intelligent but God distinguished me he chose me to be the one to stand as the touch bearer <laughs> of the university and i hope that this um i mean brings a lot of positivity to my life i think it has been bringing a lot of positivity into my life and you guys you kept on sharing and sharing on social media i almost ran away on social media because my name was all over the place i googled my name i'm like oh my goodness <laughs> what is going on what is this sudden fame and I'm grateful and seriously I would say that what you need to pick out from this video is that hard work pays no one should ever make you feel that your hard work is not going to pay your hard work will eventually pay somehow someday it will pay off and then relying on the grace of God you guys already know I'm a Christian so every time I'm talking about grace of god relying on the grace of god and working hard you need to work hard god will perfect it for you don't ever get discouraged resilience kept me consistency kept me i'm still gonna talk about all the all that virtues but for now this is where i'm going to leave it and i hope that you guys enjoyed hearing this story or listening to this story and yeah i don't know like i'm getting emotional already but it's fine um Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys pretty soon in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give my video a thumbs up. The more likes and views I get, the more this video has um, 
I mean the more people get to know about the video and I really want these videos to go go um, I mean I want this a lot of persons to view this video because I feel like I'm talking to someone or some persons and it may not just be you but you may have a friend who needs to hear this so guys share my video like my video drop your comments I would like to see your comments guys and um, I want also as usual you can drop your suggestions on the kind of videos you want me to make and I will see you guys very very soon bye bye Mwah.